and those things that seem impossible. Even as we look around today, Apple Sign Out, we <laughs> a miracle. People say, how y'all doing over there? How, how's it going? Oh, God, but God, God bless you. God bless you. God, God, how, how y'all doing? God is doing it. That's all that he's keeping me. God is keeping me. God. But God is still a God of miracles. He hey, shot glory. Whatever your situation is, I'm a living witness. It's not something I heard somebody else say. I'm a witness. I'm looking at other witnesses there, what God has done in your life. I don't have to know your story, but I know you got a story. That's right. That God has specialized. He specializes. He, spe he specializes in the power over quality. Specializes in the power over discipline. Specializes in the power over time. Isn't that wonderful? Yeah, yeah. Listen, these are days when we, you, me, all of God's children, your mom or your dad, whoever, all of us have some type of concern. Yes, we got problems, even some issues. <laughs> all right. But none of us are exempt from problems. We are all going through something in some degree or level, even in this pandemic. And the devil, the enemy, see, you got to know his strategy. I'm not, this is not a, a message about the devil, but you got to know his strategy. In order to fight, you got to know how to fight. And the enemy wants us to think that nobody knows, that, and wants us to think and believe that we have a set aside anointed pride that nobody else is going through but us. He wants to have a person have a pity card, put a pity all by itself under the bed. Listen, we all going through something. There are people that, well, maybe I pray for them after a while. It's the same old thing. Well, God bless you now, click. Oh, come on, y'all. Come on. So he wants you to set, he wants you to set your, your affection not on things above, but what you're going through, the situation. Now remember that God specializes. He, if he can keep us from coming to his house, or keep us from being fortified, keep us from being encouraged, keep us from being strengthened, that he knows he's got us. That's right. You're laughing all the way to the bank. <laughs> I got another one today. Yeah, that one stayed home. Not just on the bed, but under the bed, having the pity card. He's just laughing all the way to the That's why it's important to focus on uh, affection on things above. Focus on whatever the situation is. God specializes. Listen, there have been times the Lord has spoken to me. With, I've used this example before. He said, okay, baby, walk to the door. Child, daughter, walk to the to, to the wall, right? Not to the door, to the wall. And you, and you keep walking. Lord, when the miracle's coming, I'm waiting for the miracle. Keep on walking. Pretty soon, you, you can see the wall real clear because it's clear because it's right in front of your face. He said, keep walking, daughter. <laughs> no one's talking about it. Thank you, God. And your nose is on the wall. Lord, I'm, I'm look, that's all I'm looking for, a miracle. <laughs> and you're still looking. And your nose is against the wall. Just as your nose starts pressing, he opens the wall. He opens the wall. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. With that, that wall. Yeah, it looks impossible to walk through it, but he opens the wall. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He opens the wall. He opens the wall. God, we start. We're serving a mighty God today. I'm thankful today. To yes, yes, thank, yes. You, Mr. thank you, thank you. Hallelujah, thank you. We're serving our God, working miracle one. Amen. Begin to look at our lives, amen. So more people are experiencing a tremendous attacks against the mind, against the mind. And the attacks of Satan against the church now are of a different nature than they were in past days. I'll say that again. The different attacks that are coming against the people of God are somewhat of a different nature these days than in the past. And they're more intense than ever before. They're more intense. The attacks are more intense That's right. than they used to be. And the devil, listen, I found out something about him. He will not continue to use the same tactics over and over because once his method of attack is discovered, it's no longer effective. Hmm. He said, oh, you got it. You ever said, oh, 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 oh. Oh, definitely got me on that one, but not again. Anybody ever said that? Oh, well, you got me on that one, but not again. Because when you realize the bait of Satan, more than in it today is discouragement and fear. Discouragement and fear. And you can attack of being discouraged, to be discouraged and fear. You got it. So it's important to remember that for every person, every child of God, yes, there'll be problems. Yes, there's going to be stresses and weights. Yes. Yes, you're going to have cares, but we must remember. We must know and be reminded that we're chosen. Listen, when you begin, I'm chosen of God. Come, say what God says you are. That's I'm right. the head and not the tail. That's right. Mm, I'm amen. the living, not the bar. Amen. I'm the light. 
I'm thinking we start really thinking about how much of a light we are because of the Holy Ghost. I said the Holy with, with the Holy Ghost because without it, you can't be a. You need the Holy Ghost. Amen. Even that's more right. so True. in this day and time, and that's going to be the magnet that's going to get us to heaven. The Holy Ghost. Amen. Yes. That's right. when yes. He comes in, in the sky. That's He's right. not coming for a church without spot or ring or any stage, hey, glory or any such thing. That's the magnet. Not just having the Holy Ghost, because they will lead and guide you. But are you leading? Are you following the Holy Ghost? Through obedience. Through the Word. So it's important to know the base of Satan, especially now. Because he'll keep you from remembering that God specializes. Yes. And those things that seem impossible, God specializes. And if we keep our mind, the Word God says, if we keep our mind stayed on him, he'll give us what? Perfect, Perfect peace. Keeps, you know, the Word of God is strategic. He didn't just say peace, it said perfect peace. That's right. <laughs> That's right. Perfect peace. Even the sign, looking to Jesus, the, looking unto Jesus could have been a period there, but the word says, the author. So we got to remember who's the author? Who's the finisher of our faith? Jesus is. Yes, he is. Hey, Jesus is. Not just, it's amazing. It's amazing when we look at the word of God, read, eat the whole row. Eat the whole row. Because when we think, okay, there's a period. No, 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 keep reading, baby. Keep reading. <laughs> there's a qualifier there. There's a qualifier there of his word, what he would do. So again, God. Who God is the God of impossibilities. He works in the possibility situation. Amen. Yeah. Can you just think right now? Just think right now in your own mind of the possible situation that God worked out for you. Listen, believe that God can do it in a few minutes what we have need for years. He can open a door for you in a few minutes, something you've been struggling for with years. God can do it. Boom. Yes, 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 yes. Mm -hmm. And the, what I love about God, Amen. God can use people you don't even know. That's right. right. That's Thank true. God. Hey, God, I know what I'm talking about. Hallelujah. He'll give you faith with people you don't even know, and they don't even know why they're doing it. That's right. That's right. But God touched the heart. You know what? I don't know that, John. Just like last night we talked about. We're supposed to be <clears throat> assisting um, uh, uh, Evangelist Twinkie Clark last night. She's supposed to be here uh, in, the, in the service of you know, Bishop Johnson. We're supposed to assist her, pick her up at the airport, taking and all the things we had to do. But she couldn't come because of illness. Mm. But, but God bless Tasha Cobbs to come through there last night. Woo! They bless us. She didn't even know us. She didn't know the, uh, who we were celebrating. She didn't even know. I'm a witness. God will put faith, give you divine, not just favor. I'm talking about divine things. Cut, cut. If you had a few pennies, you could pay for. That's <laughs> right. <laughs> divine faith. That's right. He'll open doors for you. Divine faith. Hallelujah. Yes, He will. It, it is a witness. God specialized power over quantity. God specializes. Just talking about God specializes. We follow in the Word of God in the book. Uh, John, we're still in the book of John, the sixth chapter right now, verses 1 to 15, where the word of God uh, reads and lets us know he fed a, a crowd of 5,000. And the word of God said 5,000 men, but we know we, there's some children there too. We just talk about five, we ain't talking about the, all the numbers. That's right. But the word said 5,000 men. Power over, even the disciples, we don't have any food to feed these people. You better be listening to them. Be careful who you're listening to. <laughs> God gives you a vision. God gives you a dream. And people say, well, you can't do that. Well, how are you going to do that? Well, where the money going to come from? Well, how? You, well, I don't know. If, if God gave you the vision, he's going to make the provision. That's right. I'm a, As I look around the song and I think things over, I can truly say, God will work it out. Even when we look at this sanctuary, how we had a flood. Mm. You would not know because I don't look like what I've been through. Hallelujah. Yes. Trust me, they know. Mm. Had to tear the walls down, down to the concrete. Everything was tore off. When I walked in and saw the damage of all the water, the water flood, I said, oh, God. <laughs> we talked about yesterday when the, uh, the trustee, Paula's father, <clears throat> was buried. Yesterday, my father was also buried, October 9th. But when that happened to me, I said, oh, God, my father, he was a master builder. God gave him anointing to build. And I missed him. I said, oh, all I need is daddy. What do I do? <laughs> daddy was gone. I had to call an Abba father. 
Right. <laughs> I had to call him Yes, Lord. God Jesus. Said some angels who knew what to do, what to do. Because mm. our, as we look around, ain't no way you would think that the church was almost destroyed and, 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 and torn down. You would not know. God specializes. Yes, he does. All right, all right. Those things that seem impossible. And when he's not hooking stuff up and hooking with this and up this, the situation, the contractors and all the listen, listen. Woo! I'm looking at a miracle. Look, put your hands on your own say, I'm a miracle. I'm a miracle. I'm a miracle. I'm a miracle. Yeah, I'm a, you got to know that you know that you know. And I can say, but baby, be encouraged. On, but you got to know. That's right. You got to know what he's done. You don't have to wait till somebody tell you all to know what he what he brought you out. And looking back over my life, the mountains he's taking me over, lifting me up out the valley. I can say, I'm on the other side of throne. Hallelujah. Because of what? God specializes. Oh, yes. Amen. He specializes. Yes, he does. He specializes. Even the last miracle I want to talk about to serve him more, I want to, for the sake of time. Power. God specializes in the power over death. You know, when Lazarus died, <clears throat> of course, his sister Mary and mine was very distraught because that was her brother, right? Mm -hmm. And all the word God also lets us know that Lazarus was a friend, was a family friend. And, he, and I, I find an entry again to know. He took his time getting there. When he heard about Mary Martha, the brother, like he didn't just, okay, let me go, because he really could have flew through the air, really. He could have just, <laughs> that's the kind of guy he, he could just flow through the air. But he took his time getting there. <clears throat> and <clears throat> the sister said, listen, if you had been, if you had been dead, if you had been here, Renner, Lazarus would not have been dead. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. He went on to talk about being the resurrection and life. They didn't get it. They didn't get that. Right. What you talking about? We're talking about our, our, our brother died. What you talking about? <laughs> I'm the resurrection. I'm the life. So we go to the tomb of last. We talk about another miracle God does. He's a wonder working God. He specializes. God specializes again. The power over. He goes to the to the grave. Now he could have said, "Come forth." Think about that. We talking about the God of the universe. He could have said, "Come forth," right? but he had to say, "Come forth." Guess what? Everybody, Everybody was a guy out of the grave. That's right. So he had God is specific. Yes. He said, "Lazarus, come forth." And what happened? Here goes Lazarus. They was wrapping him coming through. Listen, let me apply this. Let's bring it on home. Let, yeah, Pastor, I know that's in the Bible and all this miracle. But how does that relate to my life? I, I love to talk about the Word of God, but I like to relate it. Fast forward 2000. What's a two, uh, 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 October 10, 2021, this Sunday? Yes. yes. Let's fast forward to our, how does it apply to our life? That's Amen. right. That's right. How does it apply to our Because when you walk out, you know, well, wait to Pastor talk about, well, something about Jesus. No, you need to know specifically God specializes. Yes, yes he, he does. does. He's a miracle working God. Hallelujah. You need to know specifically. The word of God, I remind you, hallelujah, Jeremiah 37, it's an old servant, Lord, you made the heavens and earth by your strong hand and powerful arm. Nothing is too hard for you. Mm. Now the word of God says it, that's that was as far as I'm concerned. That's right. I believe it. And guess what? Whether you believe it or not, the word of God says, so what else don't believe? Does that make the word of God at none of that? God to be it. Mm. Yes, he's still God. Yes, right. he is. Still, still God. God. He's still God. We look at, let, let's look at even this Jeremiah prayer. He says, nothing is too hard for you. Listen, miracles are surprising. You know, they're unexplainable and really are rare as a flawless pearl. And some of you have pearls. And you look at the real pearls that they're not, you can't get this for $1.99. Mm -mm. The real pearls. <laughs> they call. <laughs> I got it. I'm getting a few. It calls. But the wisdom of God is just flawless. Mm. I, I thank God for his sovereignty and the providence of God. His providence, providence in his timing, providence in his uh, choice of even us as children of God. God specializes. So just as we conclude this message, let me add a, a, a final thought. When Jesus uh, issued the Great Commission, he invited each of us to live in the realm of the human was humanly impossible. Because something we couldn't do without the Holy Ghost. That's why I stress the Holy Ghost, you gotta have it. Mm. 
Yes, yes. I've heard even passes with all that ain't necessary. My first question is, did you ever get it? <laughs> and every time so the true. power of the Holy Ghost is now. Now. Because it leads us and guides us. It gives us the power to go, to, uh, to go into the realm. Even the spirit that comes from the heavens for God. You're talking right. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. And I have to stress that because a lot of people aren't talking about that. I say everybody, nobody talking, but some aren't. <laughs> now, the Lord is coming soon. We yes, he back is. Back to ready, y'all. I keep stressing that. Ready. Ready. Uh, heart of my friend. Rapture ready. Yes. Coming for a church without what? Spot or wrinkle. Spot wrinkle. And he could have just said spot, period. Nobody said wrinkle and what? Yeah. Right. Right. Yes. Any such thing. Yes, Ooh, Lord Jesus. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. But in the intro, he says, occupy till I come. So till he comes, we have to believe and know God yeah. is working a miracle. Yes, he is. Hallelujah. Day and die and time. As I look back at my own life, I can testify. I'm telling you, I got some testimony. Some of you that testified early. All right, Bishop. What God can do. So you see, the thing about that is, you can't take that away from <laughs> You can't take that away from me. Right, right. Mm -hmm, you, when you know that you know mm -hmm. what you know, you can hear people say, I don't know about, I don't believe in all that. I don't know about, I don't believe that the, the, the word of God did it really, did it really say that, did it really mean that. I don't mm, believe it. That's Jesus. Right. Now, there's some areas that we need greater faith in. Let me be for real. There's some areas we need greater faith in. But we're walking toward mm. the mark. Amen. Yes, Lord. Of the Jesus. Amen. Of Jesus and in Jesus Christ. Keep on walking towards the mark. You're going to get there. Be not weary. Hallelujah. Because you're going to read. That's encouraging my soul right now. Mm -hmm. You're going to read. Yes, we have the, men, uh, 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 men, the members. Yeah, pass. I'll be there. Well, it got dark. It got a little over. Well, it's going to ring. I, I ain't coming today. That's okay. As an as uh, under shepherd, I have to be encouraged myself. Be not weary and well doing. Right, right. Because you're going to reap. We're doing this. I'm reaping now. I'm looking around reaping now. Amen. God has sustained a lot of places have, have just shut down. Pastor, forget it. I'm through. It's over. Right, right. right. I know what I'm talking about. Mm, Jesus. But God hasn't given us that. I'm not criticizing. I'm not, that's not what I'm saying. But God has said, you keep going on. That's, that's right. right. Keep I got going. you on the wake up list today. So there's purpose still for you. <laughs> That's what encourages me. Thank you, encourage Jesus. Us up many, there's a many voices are being still in the earth. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. But he still has ours in the earth. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Be grateful. That's right. And I'm encouraged when I wake up. Oh, God, thank you. I'm going to wake up and live. Oh, you got things for me to get done in kingdom. <laughs> Happy body. Yes, Lord. The is going. There's so much to do. Right. Yeah. <laughs> It's 9 o'clock already at night. It's 10 o'clock already. It's so mm -hmm. much to do. <laughs> People are calling and needing help and assistance. And in the community, all of that. But I'm still thankful. Lord, you got purpose. That's what encourages me. You yes, got Lord. Me. Hallelujah. And that's what the enemy wants. Like I said, he, he, he put those seeds of doubt. The base <laughs> of Satan. The bait of Satan. Discouragement and fear. Mm, mm, mm. But I serve a God today, knowing that God specializes. Yes, he does. Hallelujah. 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 God specializes. Yes, he does. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Yeah, hallelujah. Power over quantity, power over nature, power over misfortune. We just talk about power over death. We know people that should have been power, dead and gone. Power, and we power. listen to what the doctor said, but they're still here. Why? God has purpose. Not for you to lie to Well, oh, I'm still in the land. No, you're going to do something with your life. <laughs> Thank you, I'm Jesus. Still in the land of the living, no, even more than that. Mm. Not just living, having life more abundantly. Talk about it, Bishop. More abundant. There's more to us for this. That's not just a little bit. It's more to that. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. It's our responsibility to seek out God. What you Thank you, Jesus. So let me tell you, everything's not for everybody. Mm. See, God doesn't give the vision to every single person the same vision. But we're supposed to walk in the lane that he's given us. And when you walk in the lane, I have seen personally, God specializes. Yes, he does. Why is she doing that? Why are we going that way, Pastor? When I was a I, I wouldn't be doing that. Why you ain't the pastor. <laughs> he doesn't give us all the same. Mm. But I have the responsibility. We have the leaders here. Responsibility of following the vision. And guess what? He'll make it plain. Amen. Yes, he will. Right to be. I'm all right. I'm always right. Follow the vision. Trust me, Paul. I'm always right. That pass is right. 
Yes, even in this day and time with the iPads, I've got to ask right, and i got to right. people. I'm just going to write. It's something about documentation. Mm -hmm. And later I might transfer the information to the computer. Mm -hmm. But I just write. And even in the midnight hour, we get up and start writing. Mm -hmm. Now you know, Lord, this is going to have to be you. It's going to have to be you. Because this is like an impossible situation here. <laughs> impossible. Again, back to that commercial, the young man goes to the bathroom, can't get his pants up. Ah, I got a situation. Yes. <laughs> Lord, I got a situation. <laughs> God, I need you. Because this looks impossible. We know Ooh. I serve a God, you serve a God that will fill the need. Mm. Anybody believe that today? Oh, Amen. Hallelujah. God, God, Thank you, Jesus. Yes, he does. <laughs> Hallelujah. God specializes. God specializes. And you can even put in your mind, put a line. God specializes and you fill in the blank. Wow. We always got a God situation that we need. A God impossible, not God impossible with us, impossible situation. So you can just fill in the blank. And like, yeah, I'm looking at that situation right now. I'm justly so. You know, we can get an attitude sometimes. People do it. <laughs> we help other folks are doing it. Got, and, and doing things for other folks. And, that's and true. That's part of the ministry. Hey, it's part of what we do. <laughs> but then that can come back if you're unfairly so people can lie and say, well, mm. wait a minute, I don't help you out. You're so, hey, hello? <laughs> I'm looking at that situation that I need God to help us do. And I'm trusting in God. I know how. And it's not our place to say, well, not, not, not my, my. Okay, this is the wall here. My miracles don't come through this way. God has reminded me, wait a minute, I'm God. I'm in control. You don't tell mm. me. Uh -uh, I'll, I'll let you know. You, oh, well, Lord is coming from the west. He's, oh, no, no, no. Your miracle's coming from the south. Wow. The south, ain't nothing, there ain't nothing south. <laughs> What's south? I don't see nothing. I don't see nothing south. Mm. So he said, I'm God. Mm. I'm God. You don't tell me. You request. Make your request, your petition known. But he's the one that works a miracle, precious one. So, listen, are we missing an um, uh, uh, opportunity today? Let's think about that as I conclude. Time and time again, he's worked miracles, signs and wonders. And again, I say, if you look at me, you're looking at a miracle. Mm. And I'm not ashamed to say. I'm not ashamed to say. Amen. People can look at you and say, how's she? Well, was she God? Amen. Amen. I look at all the examples in the Bible who people would have said, well, they ain't got, they're not qualified. They don't do this. Right. Moses stubborn. But mm. God used them to free people. Can't you just imagine even that day leading all close to a million Jews across the sea? Wow. David, God had a, with a, a prophet anointed him early in life to be the next king. And then, guess what? That didn't happen overnight either. People say, yeah, he was anointed king. Next day, no, no, it, that was a process. Yes, it was. Mm. Yes. Don't fight God's process. Lord Jesus. <laughs> Woo! Don't fight the process. We don't understand the process. But as I look back and see if the, all the things God has brought me through, the things I've gone through, the terrible grief of my parents and, and husband and, and brothers and close friends, I look back, it was a setup. Mm. <laughs> for a miracle where in me. Amen. Wow. For what he had to work out of me. So now I can understand grief. As a pastor, I can pray with you sincerely. And I would, again, I would never say, well, baby, I understand I lost his father. No, 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 no. I can relate because everybody grieves differently. That's true. But there's relatability, baby. Amen. But you're going through, I lost, I lost this and that. But it's a relate. Why? Because God does what specialize. God specializes. Let me just read a few uh, scriptures, and you can note them later in terms of reading them later. <clears throat> Matthew 19, 26, I just like to read. It's not what I say, what you say. What does the word of God say about the situation? Let's read his words of Matthew 19, 26. But Jesus said unto them, with men, this is impossible. With all, with God, all things are possible. Luke 1, 37, for with God, nothing shall be impossible. So you know, this is not according to Bishop Power 2 and 5. I'm reading from the word of God. <laughs> Well, that's just her talking. No, it's not. That's from right. the word of God. Mm -hmm. 
And knowing that God's special life is filled in 4, 13 says, I can do all things. Hallelujah. Oh, that, oh, that helps me. I can do all things. It didn't say period there. It said through Christ, which was strengthens me. Yes. Matthew 10, 27, and Jesus looking at him saying with men, it is impossible, but not with God, for with God all things are possible. Mark 9, 23, Jesus said unto them, if thou can believe, hey, if thou can believe, all things are possible to him that what? Believe. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Mark 11, 24, therefore I say unto you what things whatsoever you desire when you pray, believe that you receive them and ye shall have them. Belief is key, y'all. Belief is key. Mm -hmm. Belief is key. Yes, it is. To receive the miracle. He can show you a miracle and you still, if you don't have a belief. Well, I don't believe that. Everybody else around says, girl, don't you see that? Well, God didn't. You got to know. <laughs> Everybody else says, you, you can't see that. No, I don't see that. Let me help you. Mm. Let me help you. In Luke 18, 27, he said again, the things which are impossible with men are what? Possible with God. God. Hallelujah. Jeremiah 32, 17, and Lord... God, behold, thou hast made the heaven and the earth by the great power, stretch out his arm, and there is nothing too hard for thee, for God. Romans 8.31 says, what shall we say to these things? If God be for us, who can be? Let me tell you, when God is for you, people can hang their eyes with their mouth and eyes open too. Well, how she, well, what? When God is for, he'll open the door. I'm a witness. Mm -hmm. He'll open doors for you couldn't even fathom for yourself. He'll open doors for you. When people scratching their head, well, how she, well, what she, well, how they, well, what? That. Forget that. God did. And don't say, well, yeah, because of my intellect, because of my experience, I got this, because I. No, you make sure you say, God did it. God did it. God did it. Hallelujah. Finally, 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 John, Job, Job 42 2. Job 47, chapter 2, verse 2. I know that thou can do everything, anything, that no thought can be withheld from thee. That was definitely an example. We can go, that's a whole different book with Job. Mm, all the mm -hmm. stuff he went through. And a lot of people don't talk about all the stuff that happened, didn't happen over the course of years. It happened within one day. Right. That as, one, as one servant told him, as one servant told him, another came run. Your children are dead, your servants are dead, your cattle... That didn't happen over a matter of years. That happened real quick. Mm -hmm. yes, yes. So you know, yeah, the Lord give it. Oh, God. <laughs> and the Lord take it away. And it, it wasn't up here there. He said, blessed one. Blessed be the name of the Lord. That's Hallelujah. Blessed Hallelujah. be the name of the Lord. Whatever we're going through. God's been working it out. Hallelujah. Till my miracle comes, you're working some stuff out of me so I can receive the miracle in thanksgiving and praise. Prayer and praise. Hallelujah. Paul and Silas were in jail. They were in there complaining about, Lord, you got us. We preaching the guys from here. You got us in jail. How dare they were praising and prayer. The word said, and suddenly the doors mm -hmm. hey, of the prison opened. Yes, Why? Yes. Because they were in there complaining with you. How do you, Lord, you got us in here. We're doing your work. Uh -uh. They were praising and praying. Mm -hmm. What does our witness dictate? They, they were in the jail by them, so there were other people in jail too. How wonderful was that, that they had an example of prayer and praise. And back then, those, 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 they were an air-conditioned uh, jail. They, they the stocks, and they were it was heavy stuff. Many of them were underground. Dungeons. Dungeons. Mm -hmm. But instead of complaining, mm -hmm. what would be our resolve be? Until God works the miracle, what would be our resolve? We're going to pray and to praise. Yes, Until the miracle comes, say Shammah. Until the miracle comes, we're going to praise and pray. Hallelujah. Thank For he knows all things. Mm. Be not weary and well-doing, because you're going to reap again. Be not weary and you're going to reap. If you what? Think not. This is not the time to give up, precious ones. This is the time to hold on. It's never before. Hold on to God's unchanging hand. And it is unchanging. So whatever your resolve is, so whatever your situation is, know that God is a miracle working yes, God. He, he specializes, oh, yeah. amen. He specializes. God specializes. Have you any rivers that seem uncrossable? Have you any mountains that you cannot funnel through? Let me tell you, God specializes in things that thought impossible. And he would do what? No other person, no other one, no other power can do. 
God special life. God bless you on today. Hallelujah. God bless you. Lord God, we thank you, Lord God, for the word that you share with your people, Lord God, for even having me to stand before the sacred desk and declare your word in thanksgiving, Lord God, and believe that you specialize, Lord God. Somebody right now in the name of Jesus is going through a situation that looks thoroughly, thoroughly impossible for help them to believe, Lord God, and have strength and knowing that you're God, hallelujah, that can do all things, my God. That you're a God that can move mountains, Lord God. You're a God that can lift us out of the valley and that's what's needed, Lord God. Hallelujah. You're a God that takes us around the mountain and that's what's needed, Lord God. But we have to stand, Lord God, on your word and on your faith, believing that you will. You will come to Lord. In due time, in due time, in due season, Lord God. We don't always understand what the season is, but of your point in time, your point in time, that's the due season. Hallelujah. My God, my God. That's the due season. And we'll thank you for it and give your name the glory in Jesus' name. Somebody say amen. amen. And it is amen. so. God bless you all today. So. God bless you all today. We thank the Lord for it.